G'day guys, Damien from Defender 90 Orkney. I'm going to be installing an Red Arc EGT boost gauge today in my car. So I thought I'd take you through how I'm gonna do that. So I'm installing the EGT gauge because my turbo and intercooler failed just recently and I had to buy new ones. So what I'm trying to do is avoid that with uh, monitoring my uh, EGTs and seeing where my boost is at so that's why I'm installing this so I'll show you what I've done so far you can see the bung has been welded or fitted to the pipe off the back of the turbo which is here so I just need to wire all that up I've also mounted this gauge and made this mount here. Uh, my Land Rover factory clock was in this position. So I've blocked these vents permanently. Um, and now that forces more air through these vents. But um, yeah, I just bent some aluminum up and cut it to size and used the screws from the clock to fix to the plastic. So yeah, that's it. Start installing it. I had my friend Glenn helping me out with this wiring as I wasn't too confident but once we went through it it was actually quite easy if you follow the instruction guide. We had uh, the enhanced lighting control that also had to be connected between the two gauges as I have a dual battery gauge as well. We soldered everything up, if you just follow the uh, instructions they label everything quite clearly with the colours that you have to match up and what they have to tap into. We had to find basically some ignition power and permanent power. When you're connecting the two gauges to the enhanced lighting controller, there is this purple wire. Now, with that, my recommendation is to put a plug between the, that join because when you play with your settings, if they're connected, you won't be able to change your settings, so a lot easier. Speaking of settings, there's the settings button. I had to drill a hole through the mount mounting plate to fit that through. Here we are feeding the EGT wiring and the coolant wiring through the firewall. The green one is the coolant wiring probe. I mounted the two boxes off the gauge under those vents. And on this side of the car, we ran the coolant, sorry, the boost hose. As you can see, the EGT wiring and the coolant wiring going through that side. Then it came just time to actually bolt the gauge in permanently. This comes with uh, a backing plate which goes over two bolts on the back of the gauge and you just put a couple of nuts on there and that backs onto whatever is on the inside there and holds it in place. So the probe's in, run it up around here next to my breathers and up and nice and neat. I'll cable tie all this together. Just going to go check if it works. Rightio, so both gauges are working. The uh, enhanced lighting controllers are connected. Both gauges are set. Um, so boost is running, EGTs are running. I just don't have the, I wanna hook it up to my coolant. That's all been wired up as I've said in the video. Um, it just needs uh, to be plumbed in somewhere. I don't know where that is at the moment. I'm gonna maybe leave that to my mechanic. 
but yeah here we go so as they turn on they are in this blue color so if I flick my lights on they go to a darker color so which is better for night and then you can see my boost is now working and EGT is only really um, come up when I'm doing over a hundred.